Welcome back to another episode of Open RCT2 Tutorials. Today's video is just going to be a quick public service announcement showing off this new plugin that was just released called the World Painter plugin. It is super cool and you have to check it out. Now to find this plugin, you can go to openrct2plugins.org or you can click the link in the video description below, but you find the World Painter plugin and then there's a bunch of information, but you hit Git plugin, it will take you to the GitHub page and that is where you will be able to download the file. All you have to do is just click here and download the file and then you're going to place it in the plugins folder in your OpenRCT2 directory. So there it is, the World Painter, and now we're good to go. Once in the game, you go to the plugins menu and you can select the World Painter plugin and here is the menu that shows up and there's different sizes you can choose from and then there's different tool types. If you hover over them, it will kind of give you information about what each tool does. So here, let's just try this one and you can raise the land up into crazy mountain looking shapes and you can choose the different types of shapes. Uh, you want a dome or something like that, you can do a dome shape. It's just super incredible. And you can change the size of the painter. So that's, and you can unlock it so it can be weird shapes like this. So you can do fun little towers and stuff like that. There's this magic wand feature that also kind of edits the land all around things. I'm still exploring this plugin, so I'm not exactly sure what all of the features do, but it is just so fun to play around with. This one right here will just randomize the land texture. So that's really fun if you just wanna make everything look a little less smooth but you can choose all of these different shapes for the towers you're making here's a dome shape we could do more of a pyramid style you could do a little bit more rounded edges so you can just play around with all of that and then the magic wand can smooth out the edges for you if you want raise things up but let's try this in a scenario. So here we are in Razor Rocks. If I open the plugin and let's build a little pit here or something, and oh, we already used $10,000 that quickly. So you have to be very careful. So this takes a lot of money if you wanna be editing the land like this. So let's try it again here. So we can try and drag it and make a little pit area, a depression there, or let's try and make a riverbed here, something like that. But let's be honest, the most fun is building these giant towers. So let's play around with that some more. And it's just so fun to create these amazing landscapes. And you can change the size of this tool. Oh, so now we've wasted all of our money. So that was over $300,000. So <laughs> obviously I would turn on the no money cheat when you're using this plugin, but it is just fantastic. There's so much I'm still discovering with this. You can do plateaus like this and it will match the land of what you're selecting. So you can kind of do a nice plateau like that. You can also change the sizes to really weird things and then change the angle. So it's kind of here at a 40 degree angle. Uh, let's see if we can pull that up. All right. So now if we rotate the view, we got a fun looking tower there. So kind of reminds me of Monument Valley, but this plugin is just so much fun to play around with. You have to check it out. Now the mastermind behind it is Sadrit, who is also the genius who created the Scenery Manager plugin, which I have used in several of my tutorials, as you can see here. So both of these plugins are really amazing and they just make the game that much more fun. So tons of credit and appreciation for Sadrit for creating these incredible tools that just really elevate the game. So let me know in the comments if you're gonna download the World Painter plugin. And if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. It really helps support this channel or consider becoming a YouTube or Patreon member where you will receive early access to all of my latest videos and tutorials and make sure to check out my swag shop for RCT2 merch. And as always, make sure to subscribe because next time I'm gonna show you how to build this slingshot ride. Stay tuned for more.